Good morning, this is Ed Bremner from the IMPACT project and this is a quick introductory screencast to the IMPACT digitization cost estimator. OK, the IMPACT digitization cost estimator is a very simple tool to use. It was developed by IMPACT staff at the Gottingen State and University Library for working out the costs of their own digitization projects, but has now been kindly released under a Creative Commons license for all projects to use and be confirmed on the IMPACT Centre of Competence website. The first step is to enter data into the Define Basic Parameters box. You will find this is Stetch 1 and each box has a little note to tell you what to put in. So starting at the top we have a simple box for the number of volumes and from that can be worked out the total number of pages that need to be imaged. The storage space can be a little bit more complicated to work out and if you are not unsure of what figure to put in then we would recommend that you download the impact storage estimator and this will take the physical size of your pages, the resolution that you are shooting at and the file formats that you intend to save and from that work out the storage space that is required. You can put in a figure for the total cost of storage per terabyte and the amount of working days that you have in your, for each FTE in a year and the working hours in each day. Finally, enter a figure for the amount of time that you take in each day to actually undertake quality assurance at work. The next stage of the estimation is to put in the data for your workflow steps. This tool allows you to itemize data for up to five different steps or tasks within the workflow. And for each of these, you must enter the amount of minutes that it takes for a volume, the amount of minutes for 10 pages, the number of personnel that are being used to undertake the task, and what their annual gross salary is. Once you have entered this data, it will then give you an output of what the time cost in days was, and also what the actual overall cost of putting those personnel in to do the job was. It might be that you are setting this work one particular step of the task as being outsourced, in which case you do not need to put in these figures, but you can simply put a figure in at the bottom because you know from the, uh, from the supplier how much that is going to be, in which case you put it in here at the cell below. OK, so let's put this all into action. We're going to start off by filling out the box one, the basic parameters, and we're going to do quite a small project uh, which only has, uh, let's say, 500 volumes in it. And the total pages of those, um, roughly 100 pages each, so we're going to put in a figure of 550,000 in. Um, the storage space, uh, these are just, say, black and white, and we're going to do these quite small, so we're going to put those in as 20 megabytes. The cost of storage per terabyte has come down a bit, so we're going to put in a figure of 450. Uh, the working days for the FD are 220. The working hours in a day are 8, um, but we know from experience they never quite do that, so we're going to put in 7 for that, and a QA overhead um, we will leave at 15%. Um, our workflow is very simple, so I'm going to take out quite a few of these, and we're just going to put in our first step, and we know that the minutes um, per volume is actually taking about 20 minutes. And the number of personnel is 2, and their gross salary is 30,000 euros. And from those figures, we will now get the estimations that the total cost in times of days to do this is 14 days, their overall cost will be 3,734 euros, and then these figures will be transferred down to here. So this gives you a good estimate of how much the costs are going to be. So we hope you enjoy your tool and find it very useful in your own projects.